So today I'm going to be giving you all the rundown of the Phantom 4 Stump Blind by Banks Outdoors. The other day Cliff gave you guys the preview of the Stump 3. Today we are going to take it up a notch and I'm going to give you the rundown of the Stump 4. Now this is in the Pro Series trim level, but as you see, just like the Stump 3, you have the Phantom blackout windows. Um, and on the Stump 4, there are a total of eight windows. They all range in kind of a different size, um, just depending on whether you were going to be bow hunting or hunting with a rifle. So you have the long windows here, the more square windows, and then there is even a rectangular window that you would be able to shoot a crossbow out of pretty easily if you chose to do so. It's a pretty sharp looking blind. As you see, it kind of just disappears with that color that they have on there. And just like the Stump 3, this is the polyethylene gas finished uh, blind here. It's all completely one piece. You have your carbon filters right at the top. There's one and then over here on the other side, is another. So just like this stump three, you have the anchors here at the bottom and then on the central, there is a ground anchor cable that you would have to attach. Um, but let's check it out. So you have the key lock door if you so choose to use that. And then let's step inside. So right away, you'll notice there's a ton more room in the stump four as compared to the stump three. Um, I'm only five foot five, but I have plenty of head clearance here to the top. Um, and as you notice, as soon as we stepped in here, super, super quiet. Um, it's, it's a really windy day out there and there's absolutely no play in these windows. Not even the slightest bit. No rattling from the wind, nothing. Um, each window is anchored down super securely with roughly six to eight latches here that open real nice and smooth. You don't hear those at all when you're opening them. So we'll show you here. And with this hinge design that they utilized, it's a smooth, quiet transition. Not a single sound. So there's your first window there. Um, on the right side of the blind here, I have all the curtains removed as you see. And again, those are the phantom tinted blackout windows. So there's kind of your color comparison. And they do say that they've kept in mind um, the brightness of the day when it comes to this tint. So it is dark that, you know, it's not real easy to see in. However, when you're looking out, there's not a drastic difference there. So from dawn to dusk, you'd be able to see out of these windows pretty easily. In this Pro Series, you do have included these blackout curtains. So I showed you here both options. So they have a camo side and then a black side, just depending on what you wanted. Each blind is equipped with both sides and they're just simple magnet features here at the top. So those can come off or go back up pretty easily. There's no latch again, just making them super, super quiet. And it's easy as that to remove the blinds with all the latches securely closed we didn't have any leaks with this blind. Another really nice feature here, so like I said, that just goes up nice and quick. But in this Pro Series, um, standard features, you have different hangers, you have bow hangers. It comes equipped in this little kit here for coat, coat hangers. You have lights, shooting stick, um, shelf, towel to wipe down your windows or any you know, what items you might have here. These are just our extra blinds, a little um, shooting platform there. And then this is the ground anchor kit right here. So in this trim level, as you can see, you have the nice soundproofing cushion that's attached. You have a four layer floorboard, keeps everything super quiet. No creaking there. This blind, you could easily fit at least two people in here very comfortably too. Um, they do advertise that you could fit three people in there very comfortably, but with two 360 degree chairs, I think two people would be plenty, you know, especially if you were archery hunting where you needed a little more room. 
Um, but yeah, this is a super nice blind. I can't wait for Cliff to get this set up. Now, because of the specs of this blind, the only downfall that I do see is it is larger. So to get this blind set up in the woods, I think would give you kind of a hard time. So we plan to use this blind over a food plot um, just because of the ease of setting it up. So we'll just use a bucket tractor, get it out where we need to go and get it set up that way. Um, but if you guys are interested in checking out this blind, head over to Ravelin Hill Archery. Um, right now with the code KEO, you will get the pressure treated um, platform set absolutely for free, which is a roughly a $500 value. Like I said, just use the code KEO and you'll get that entire setup for absolutely nothing. That's a super, super fantastic deal. Um, but if for whatever reason you wanted to go more of the metal platform route, they do have that as well. Unfortunately, you would have to pay for it. So why not just use the pressure treated lumber? Uh, Daniel and the guys over there have that completely ready to go. So if you ran down there, wanted to pick up a blind, they have the lumber kits ready to go right there in the driveway. They'll load you up right with your blind. Um, all in all, this is a super fantastic blind. Perks, like I said, soundproof, waterproof, weatherproof. Um, plenty of windows, 360 degree coverage, and it blends in beautifully with the um, exterior of the outdoor. But without further ado, we will go into the stump two in the next video. Thanks for watching.